Today on Strange Places, dials, buttons, and switches, all used to control and monitor the sophisticated nuclear medicine equipment at this abandoned hospital. Almost everything was forgotten and left to rot amongst the decaying structure. The neglect and indifference of the former operators, however, allowed us to make many discoveries, some incredible, and others asking more questions than they answered. So join Max Power on a thrilling adventure through this abandoned clinic, and we will explore what's left of its technological achievements and uncover its secrets. Alright, Mr. Power, please stand still. I'll okay. be over in a minute. Okay, thank you. Well, hello. And welcome to Strange Places, where we go places that most people wouldn't dare touch. I'm your host, Max Power. Currently, I'm being checked out by Dr. Lord Explorers here. Uh, I'm getting my lunch, lungs checked out because I have inhaled a dangerous amount of asbestos over these last few years exploring. I'm here with a whole bunch of people right now. Everyone's social media is going to be in the description. This is an abandoned radiology hospital. There's um, basically MRIs, x-rays. This thing is $1.5 million or something crazy, and they left all this equipment behind. Millions of dollars worth of equipment. Now, if you haven't already, please go down there right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. It really helps me out a lot. Here's the best part. You'll be able to see Strange Places videos. The moment they come out, so go down there right now. It'll take you five seconds. And now we take you to the abandoned radiology clinic on Strange Places. Are there files here? By the way, I'm exploring with Max Power. Oh, that's cool. I think these are renderings of people's yeah. actual height. Wait, are you like an Aztec? Did you just sacrifice a victim? <laughs> More offices. The interior was heavily decayed. The waterlogged ceilings had begun to collapse, and the black mold seemed to cover every surface. Despite the natural decay, there was a relative absence of graffiti. It wasn't long before we had discovered the first x-ray room. So guys, this machine is one of the x-rays. Lead right here, these are lead sheets. That's to keep the x-rays from escaping. A little bit of an older machine, so there's a ton of machinery here. There's a lot of cool buttons, switches everything um, that made this machine work. This is how you can tell it's a really powerful machine. Look at all these cords running to the ceiling and everything. This is really cool. When this machine was made, it was probably worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Probably now it's not worth as much, but it's amazing that they left all this stuff behind. It's so cool. I've always wanted to go to a hospital with all this cool equipment left over. This is the kind of stuff that urbexers look for when they go to abandoned hospitals. second x-ray room and it's attached to the first one that I just showed you and this one's not as cool but um, another uh, piece of equipment that was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars when it came out and they just left it here. Ooh, cool. Oh, let me show you guys this side. Then. This is actually where the x-rays come out. Probably had it like this when you want to get an x-ray. Mm -hmm. Back at the bag, they put the x-rays in here, the x-ray film. Mm -hmm. 
Then we found the Dark Room. This is where x-ray films were developed, and it appears as though there was still some developer chemicals left in the barrel. Earlier on, we found this photograph of the hospital back in its heyday. This is what the room used to look like, and it appeared as though this piece of equipment in the background was removed before the place was abandoned. We traveled down the dilapidated hallways that led to mostly empty, crumbling offices. All these offices are pretty much cleared out. Then we found a hallway that led to a whole nother wing of the clinic. As you can see, this clinic made a lot of money. Yeah. What the f is this? An MRI uses a magnetic field to do some sort of super complicated process. Okay guys, this is another equipment room that we found. I'm pretty sure it's an MRI room. And this is why. MRIs, they're, they work based off of magnets. They're giant magnets that detect the hydrogen ions in your body. And you have a lot of hydrogen ions. I don't know too much about the science. All that I know is the giant magnetic field basically picks all of those hydrogen ions up and can map the inside of your body. This might be, this is either an MRI machine or it's part of an MRI machine. The big magnetic field generator and all that equipment uh, might be gone. I was correct in the assumption that the actual MRI machine was gone as the MRI machines are huge and fairly obvious. What was left was only the machinery that houses the patient as they go into the MRI machine. Uh, we also found a lot of medical equipment in here. There's some old stuff. Like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Like, there's this thing. This has a $4,000 price tag on it. I don't know when that's from. But, um, it's a four grand for this thing. We also found brand new medical equipment just laying around. And in the other rooms, there was no shortage of medical equipment simply what, left to rot. Is this like a arm? Nuclear Amplifier Analyzer. It has something to do with radiation. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what these are. Oh, <laughs> This door is heavy, so we don't know what used to go in here. There's something probably radioactive. This safe is built to contain radioactive materials, which is why I don't want to spend any time in here at all. Because there could be contaminants still in there. Finally, we had arrived in the largest room in the entire clinic. The record room. It's a rec room because it's a, it looks like a, a record room and it's also a recreation room. We got files, we got film. Why are there pictures of money in here? Whoa, hold on. I don't know, maybe maybe they scanned them to keep records. I wasn't noticing this before. They're playing cards. They got poker chips. But dude, you know how the doctors, they always have you waiting in the office? Yeah. It's because they're down here f***ing around. <laughs> Please wait. I'm with a patient. So when your doctor is making you wait, they're just back in the recreation room trying to win a game of poker. Dude, the American Medical Association is gonna, gonna assassinate me for this. <laughs> You've exposed all doctors. Um, Explain yourself. <laughs> As we're going deeper and deeper into this giant record room, we're just finding more random stuff. A Lord Explorer, so he found a freaking x-ray, which is absolutely sick. Is it fine?
Then we found the doctor's personal office. Everything appeared to be left behind by the doctor who ran this clinic. And so this doctor obviously did uh, stuff with breast cancer. So we found an entire, an entire pack of freaking mammograms, which is like how they detect if you have breast cancer or not. I just want to go to a hospital and find x-rays like this. Is it? It must be, yeah, I think it's like... Cancer cells? Yeah. Uh, and these are actual mammograms. For... They, this is how they detect cancers. This is a demonetization. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube! Nope. No, no more money. Can't show any. Even though this looks like target practice here. Let's put a blur on it. Don't say no to that. So this is scientific. So you two can't demonetize yeah. it. Yeah. The thing on breast cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, it is. I hope you enjoy the house. All right, it's not sexual. I'm literally looking at. Okay. We just walked in this room and found this massive freaking machine. That's when we found this abandoned marvel of engineering and science. type machine. Whatever this is, it's a high powered machine and it took a lot to actually uh, control. Look at we got controls for this thing over here. We got buttons, we got dials. We got controls here. We got controls all the way back here with this giant computer screen. And we have more controls over here and back over here. It has something in it that's radioactive. One of the control boxes, there's a giant radioactive sign. And whatever this was powered by, it was powered by something that's radioactive or it was manipulated by something that was radioactive or something that made it more powerful. There's one thing I did get right about this machine. It's an x-ray machine, but not an ordinary x-ray machine. This particular type of x-ray machine is used to kill cancer cells, and it's called a linear accelerator. It's a type of particle accelerator. Electrons and radio waves are sent through this long tube. The radio waves accelerate the electrons close to the speed of light. After passing through several magnets to focus and direct the electrons, the electrons hit a tungsten surface, which produces x-rays, which are then directed onto the patient's affected area to kill the cancer cells. Radiation therapy works because cancer cells are more vulnerable to radiation than normal healthy cells. These machines cost anywhere from 300000 to $1.5 million. Yeah, shout out to my boy Lord Explorers. He actually found this location for us, guys, so go go check out his channel. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, to share, and comment. Why are you doing that? I am the host of Max Power. Okay, we're good. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'm your host, Max Power. See you next time on Strange Places.